What is going on everyone? My name is Noble and today after years and years and years of asking for PSN name changes, we finally have access to it. Now in the background for right now, we've got Rocket Birds Evolution 2 uh, playing because I have a lot of information to give you guys and I'd really like to ask you guys to please listen to all of this information before you ask your questions. I am getting tired of answering the same stupid questions that people get because they come to my videos they find the bulk of what they're looking for and then they leave and they don't actually pay attention to all the information that I give. I do my very best in trying to do the research and giving you guys all the information that you need with each one of my videos. So if this is your first time looking into PSN name changes, please pay attention to this important part. And uh, if you guys have already seen this video, there is a timestamp in the description that you guys can jump to so that you can actually see how to change your PSN name. So the very first thing that we need to start off with is that this is not available for everyone. I am actually in a PlayStation preview beta and that's what's allowing me to change my PSN name right now. PSN name changes will become available to everyone in early 2019. At least that's what PlayStation is saying as of right now. That could change. We have seen how long it's taken for them to actually get this thing to work. Now, along with that, there is some important information, and that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about right now. And one of the things that was reported by IGN, and again, there'll be links to this stuff in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself, is that only games released after April 1st, 2018 are guaranteed to work with the name change. While a selection of other games are going to be revealed later, PlayStation has noted very specifically that not all PS4, PS3, and PS Vita games and applications will work with this process. So that's just something that you guys need to take with a grain of salt before you decide whether or not you wanna go ahead and change your name. Now, along with that, I obviously did get a email from PlayStation telling me that there might be some issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and read through that just so that you guys have the information of what could happen if you decide to change your PSN name. So it says right here, important information before changing your online ID. First off, not all games and applications for PlayStation 4, PS3, PS Vita, and other PlayStation systems support the online ID change feature. If you change your online ID, you may lose access to content including paid for content that you have acquired for your games including content like add-ons and virtual currency. So keep that in mind. You may lose your progress within games including game save data, leaderboard data, and progress towards trophies so that is that is a huge thing like if if you decide to change your PSN name you could lose access to games that have not come out before April 1st of this year so just know that going in parts of your games and applications might not function properly both online and offline so some of your games may not even work and lastly your previous online IDs may re remain visible to you and other players in some places so even though you've changed your horrible, horrible, horrible PSN name, you might still have that name show up in certain places for certain people. Now under that is a very scary thing that PlayStation admits right off the bat. It says, please note, we expect major issues such as loss of game progress, trophy progress, and in-game purchases and DLC to occur with a small number of gamers. So if you're going to take the risk of doing this, just know that that is a possibility that might happen to you and there's nothing that they can really do about it and they are warning you right off the bat. So just a little bit more information as with most other places such as Xbox, your first change for your PSN ID is going to be free whenever it becomes available to everyone again in early 2019. And any changes after that is going to cost, oh, actually this is a better deal. Um, if, you, if you decide to change your name again, it's going to cost $10 or it'll cost you $5 if you're a PlayStation Plus member. Now, if you've got PlayStation, if you've got Xbox, chances are you've got PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live. So in my case, if I do decide to change my name again, it'll only be $5 and not 10. I think that's actually a pretty good deal. If your original online ID violates any of the current terms of service, you will not be able to revert back to your original online ID. So if you change your name to I am awesome and your current PSN name is um, McWigglebutt6969, uh, you may not be able to go back to that name just because they may find it offensive. Obviously, those are really dumb examples, but it's just me trying to give you guys an idea of what they're talking about. And uh, I think the last most important part of this email is, is that it says after you change your online ID, it may take a few hours 
for some services and applications to reflect the new ID change. So that is the majority of the, the information that I think that you guys need to know. You need to know that not everyone will see it. It's going to take a little bit of time to change. Your first change is going to be free if you want to change it again after that. If you've got PS Plus, it's going to cost you five bucks. If you don't pay for PS Plus, it'll cost you ten dollars. And uh, there is a major, major possibility that it could totally screw up all of your games prior to April 1st, 2018. So just letting you guys know that. Now with all that said, let's go ahead and check out how we change our PSN online IDs. All right, so first things first, in order to get started, all you have to do is head on over to your settings. So let me go ahead and turn on my controller here and we're gonna go on over to settings. From settings, we're gonna go to account management and from there, we're gonna to go to account information. And then we're gonna move on down to our profile. Now from your profile, this is where you're gonna find your online ID. You can change your online ID. And it's actually got some more information here. So let's go ahead and try to read this real quick. Read this before changing your online ID. Once again, not all games, we already read through that. You may lose access to content. Okay, I think this is pretty much everything that was in the email. You may lose progress within games. We already read that. Uh, parts of your games and applications might not function properly. Once again, very important. And your previous online IDs may remain visible. So this is all the stuff that I just covered in the email. It's, it's actually a good thing that they're giving you this information whenever you go ahead and attempt to change your online ID because it gives them reason to say, hey, we warned everybody. Because again, they say themselves, they do expect major malfunctions. So let's go ahead and accept it. And if I do have any issues and stuff, I'll be sure to show that. Um, I'm not sure if by changing my name right now, I may be breaking my console for a whole bunch of old games that I've got. If you haven't already saved progress for all users in a game on your PS4, select cancel and do it. Now, unsaved data will be lost. After you change your online ID, immediately launch your games to check for any issues such as lost content, progress. Oh my God, they are wanting me to test this so hard for them. Okay. So that's bad. Changing back to your previous online ID may not fix all issues. So even if you decide to go back, you may not be able to fix anything. You may not recover all or any, oh my God, or any lost content progress or functionality. So you could essentially just not have any games anymore. If you want to change back, do so as soon as possible because changing back to your previous online ID may affect content. Game progress, okay, so that's, that's some scary stuff, man. You'll be signed, okay, so at the end of your online ID change process, you'll be signed out of PlayStation Network on this system and all games and applications on this system will be closed. This is gonna be crazy, guys. Let's go ahead and try it out. I do all of this stuff for you guys, just so you know, so this is very, very scary for me. Uh, we've, you've been playing as Noble Phoenix since 2011. That is a long time, dude. Um, and actually before that, I used to have another PSN account, but I lost that account for PlayStation. And I also had that same name for Xbox. So I've actually been online for a very, very long time. So guys, we're going to get our real name. Now make sure that you spell it exactly the way you want. Make sure that you have your capitalization where you want it, because if you don't, and if you just for some reason or another spell your name that you want wrong, you're gonna have to pay for it if you wanna change it again. This is not good, guys. Uh, it appears that PlayStation has an issue with the word addiction, no matter how you do it. So, I may not be able... Are they seriously going to hold this against me? Like, what? Guys, whenever you think of noble addiction, what do you think? You think of the beautiful me, right? It's totally the word addiction. I'm going to have to contact uh, PlayStation and see if we can get this this fixed. Oh my God, that really that really really upsets me. Not only have we waited years and years for PSN name changes, but now that that I've already built a, I mean not so much a brand, but my YouTube channel, my Twitter, all of my social medias are Noble Addiction. My Xbox, my my Nintendo ID is Noble Addiction, and PlayStation is not going to allow me to use that. Are you kidding me? 
it's totally the word addiction that that really really sucks okay so guys i'm actually very very disappointed we have waited millennia for playstation name changes and now that we have playstation name changes i can't even get the name that i want uh i'm gonna see if i can contact playstation about this um i doubt that it's gonna do anything good for me but i'm gonna try to get it i'm i'm probably gonna have to pay for it because this is my one free change so we may have a video uh showing you guys how to change your name and actually pay for it in the future for right now we're gonna go ahead and change it to noble addiction or the eyes are ones because we are number one and let's uh go ahead and confirm this now this is very very scary once again we don't know what's gonna happen that makes me really really sad it makes me so sad to not have my psn name just be regular ass noble addiction like i have my online name oh that makes me so sad yeah okay so you have a choice of choosing whether you want to share your old one it will expire after a month so we're just gonna go ahead and, and try to do that. So we are good here. And now we see what happens to the actual game. Oh my God. Let's, uh, fo following applications have closed an online ID has changed. Uh, user who changed, okay, Noble Addiction, that's me. And if you guys search Noble Addiction, you should still be able to see me. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to sign in real quick and see what the hell happens. All right, guys, we are signing in. All right, this is me, Noble Addiction. I really don't like looking at those ones, man. Uh, let's try a game real quick, all right? We're gonna jump into some Spitterman. Oh my God, I freaked out right now because I just saw empty. I forgot that I started my save down at the bottom. Okay, so we still have our full save, 100% main story. Uh, let's go ahead and just continue this real quick. All right, guys, so everything looks good as far as Spider-Man goes, but once again, Spider-Man is a fairly recent game release. Once again, any game that released after April 1st, 2018 should have no issue with this. But I'll tell you guys what, um, I'm not gonna waste too much more of your time. This video is getting kind of long in the tooth right now, but I am going to go ahead and check out some other games and see if we lost any progress, lost any DLC. And again, this is not going to happen to everyone, but they do expect it to happen to a small number of people that change their online IDs. So uh, with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you guys get to change your name exactly the way that you want it. Uh, uh, again, I'll, I'm going to try to contact PSN and uh, see if we can get Noble Addiction the proper way on there. And uh, with that said, I hope you guys found this video useful, helpful, informative, entertaining, all of that good stuff. If you have any comments that I did not already, if you have any questions, that doesn't make any sense. If you have any questions that I have not answered in this video so far, feel free to leave those in the comments down below and I will address them as soon as possible. And uh, with that said, guys, as always, I love your faces. I hope you guys like this video, and we'll see you guys next time.